Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Okay, I like to give all praises to Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Okay, that honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well or teaching the 100% truth according to the Most High's will. Okay, in season and out of season. All right, enduring until the end. Okay, where I learned this truth. Okay, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 down to the one third of Israelites who will receive salvation. All right, out of America, which is Babylon the Great. Okay, and you confusion of face, brothers and sisters. All right, Akiam. All right, scattered around the globe who look like different nations, but through your sea line, you go back to it. It's like man. Okay. So peace goes to you, all right? I'd like to give more praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash, for allowing me to do another video to the Holy Spirit, okay? So in this video, the topic is remember the promise, okay? So remember what you're doing this for, okay? Who you're doing this for, all right? You're doing this to please the Most High, all right? Because it's your duty, okay? For, for this truth, all right, is duty to certain men, all right? Not all men, okay, but certain men, okay? So remember the promise, okay? So I'm going to start with Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6, okay? It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, Okay? This is talking about the Israelites, all right, the nation of Israel, which today are you blacks, so-called, okay, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth, the Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people, okay? But because the Lord loved you, because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. All right. So the most high, right? He had to keep this the oath, all right, that he gave from Abraham, Isaac to Jacob. Okay. Have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God which keepeth covenant, all right, and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Okay, so you need to remember that, all right, that there's a um, inheritance, all right, that was given to the nation of Israel, which is the kingdom of heaven, all right, everlasting life, all right, immortality, okay, dominion over all these other nations. Okay, so you need to remember that in your head as you go by your daily life, all right? You need to try and please the Most High, okay? You need to um, fear the Most High, all right? You need to know His name, okay? You need to remember what you're doing this for, the kingdom of heaven, all right? And the abominations of this kingdom, all right, America, all right, is going to go away. So you need to remember why you're doing this. All right, you need to remember the promise. Okay, so let's go to Genesis, all right, chapter 36, Slakia, not 36. Chapter 22 and verse 17, it says, That in blessing I will bless thee, and multiply, in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Right? So this was the promise made to Abraham. All right? And the Most High is going to bless his seed. Okay? And the promise went to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob. All right? And Jacob was the father of, the, of his 12 sons. All right? And now those 12 sons came to 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? So this is just bigger, this is just, there's something bigger than this, all right, than just living in this, um, 
in this um, base world, all right, in America, all right? There's something glorious that's about to come, all right? So you need to remember that in your head, okay? And this is just for the elect, all right? The elect's only going to bear, um, hear these, hear this, um, these, um, the word, okay, and come back to the Heavenly Father, all right? For all you different um, heathen nations, all right, you so-called white people, all right, you Ishmaelites, Moabites, Hamites, all right, this is not for you, okay? Now, let me get, this is Hebrews 8 and verse 8. It says, for finding fault with them, he says, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. All right? And so this is the new covenant. All right? I'll put my laws into your mind and write them in their hearts, okay? So we're going to be all righteous in the kingdom, all right? Starting with the elect, okay? I'll, I'll, Slaki, and I'll write them in their hearts and I'll be to them a God, all right, a power, and they shall be to me a people, okay? And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Okay, so there's not going to be, um, um, we're not going to be verbally trying to remember the laws, statutes, and commandments in our head. All right, remembering to endure to the end in the kingdom. All right, because we're going to be all righteous. We're going to have new bodies. Okay, so that's the inheritance, the kingdom of heaven, rulership. All right, rest for the Israelites. Okay, so you need to remember that every time you just, um, every day. All right, you need to remember that and praise the Most High that, that He picked, He chose you. All right, to know this um information, all right, this truth, okay, this light in this world of darkness, okay. It says, for, verse twelve: For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. And that he saith a new covenant he had made the first old, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Okay, so I got one more scripture, the Apocrypha, this is Baruch chapter 2 and verse 28, okay, it says, as thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the, thy law before the children of Israel, saying, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into to a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. And that happened today, right? Okay? Israelites got scattered, all right, all across the globe, okay? And looked like these different nations due to the scattering, all right? It says, for I, for I knew that they would not hear me, all right? So the Most High knew that we were going to go off at the end of the day, okay? Because it's his movie, it's his will, all right? It says, because it is a stiff-necked people, Right? Just like so-called blacks and teams and Native Americans today. They're stiff-necked, all right? They're rebellious, all right? They don't care. They don't want to change, all right? They need to see something happen, all right? Something terrible for to change, okay? That's how low they are, okay? Majority of them, all right? But the elect, all right, are going to change and hear these words, all right? And it says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it's a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captiv captivities, all right, they shall remember themselves. And that's happening today, okay, in America, all right. So-called blacks, Latinos, and Americans, all right, are claiming that they're Israelites from the Bible, okay. That's happening today, okay. So they're remembering themselves. They're remembering who they were, okay. And there's nothing the so-called white man can do about it, all right. But, uh, um, but he's going to implement his new world order, Okay, that's the only thing he can do, all right, because he knows his kingdom is falling, but he can't change it. It's already written that the Israelites are going to rule, and his kingdom is going to fall. So there's nothing he's going to do about it, all right? 
It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name, all right, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? So the promised land, all right, we're going to go back into that land, all right? So you need to remember that. You need to remember the glory that's about to come to the Israelites, the elect, okay? You need to strive, you need to strive all right? So you fit those characteristics that the elect, all right, are, um, that, um, that they go through in the scriptures, all right? Because all at the end of the day, every, all, the, all the parts, the most... The most size is, is the director, all right? And there's certain parts, all right, in um, every movie, okay? So you need to um, try to strive to be um, the role of the elect, all right? The brothers and sisters who get salvation, okay? And not act like a, a nigga in a spit, all right, and a bitch, all right? A simple-minded black woman, okay? A simple-minded Latino woman, simple-minded Native American woman, okay? Because that's going to lead to destruction, all right? Says, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Okay? And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, okay, and they shall be my people. Alright? So that should feel good, alright? That you're gonna get rest. Alright, that the most high is gonna look at you as all righteous. Okay? Not look at you as a nigga anymore. Alright? That should, that, should, that should click with you. Alright? But, but once again, it's only going to click with the elect. Alright? So you need to start changing now. Alright? Not, not when the destruction's upon you. The, upon the earth. Okay? It says, I will bring the slot here. Verse 35. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Okay, so the Most High is not going to um, bring us to captivity, all right, to a different nation, okay? All that's going to be done away with, okay? We're going to be ruling in righteousness, all right, in the kingdom of heaven for our Lord, Yahweh Shai, all right, in our power, the Most High, our God, okay? So you need to remember that, okay, throughout your um, throughout your daily, throughout the day, okay? Because that's, you need to examine yourself daily, all right, and keep striving, keeping the faith, all right, trials, keep praying and fasting, all right? And I'm trying to become a new person for the most high, all right, sincerely, okay? So I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekat, Kadash, for allowing to do in our video through the Holy Spirit, Okay? Death and destruction to America, okay? And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, all right? The Israelites. Psalm 144,000 down to the one third who will be saved out of America, okay? Shalom.